Hello everybody. Look what we got. Mavic Air 2. Just like everybody else in the world. So this is probably like the 5 millionth unboxing or display of or whatever. You know, a quick look or whatever you want to look at it. There it is right there. Well, there it is right there. The box. It's a beautiful box. It's very, very nice. So let's take a look at the other stuff. There's the bag, and guess what? It's a piece of junk. So flick that out of there. Here's the awesome transmitter. Now this is truly sweet. Opens up like that. Cable's already built in for iOS because you know that's what they want you to use is iOS. Gimbal sticks are down here embedded in the bottom. You just screw them into there. Then it's got the sights here. I mean the uh, lever here on the front for the tripod mode, normal and sport mode. On and off, return to home. It says a function button here. I don't know what it defaults to, but we'll figure it out. Maybe to turn the gimbal up and down. Then here's the uh, photo button or video record button. And maybe this switches between them. I'm not sure. The grips on it are really nice. That's a really nice grip to it. And there's a little vent there for some airflow. Very nice transmitter, man. Real nice. I'm real impressed with this. It's so much better than that other style. Just so much better. And there's a USB-C charge port on there. Really nice. Really nice. I got the fly more combo so we get extra batteries. And here's a couple of them right here. Nothing special. They're batteries. But they do give you this pretty cool little thing with it. You can hook up a... <clears throat> goes like this, I believe. A little USB charger by plugging this into one of the batteries. Say you needed to charge your phone or something and you were out in the, out in the wilderness and you needed to charge something. There you go. You can plug one of these into your spare batteries and have a USB charger. So I thought that was pretty cool. So you got three batteries with that. And those batteries are a, um, oh, the writing's so small I can't hardly see it. it they're lithium ion, I know that. I, the writing is just so small I can't, uh, I can't see the, the writing. It's that, it's that tiny. But what I will do is I'll put it in there in a little text bar. Put that in there. It's, um. Yeah, they're not lipos. I heard somebody in one of their other unboxings say they're lipos. They're not. They're lithium ions, like the uh, Mavic Mini. Here's your little multi-charger. You can hook all three batteries on there at the same time. But, you know, it's not going to charge them all at the same time. There's where you would put the plug. There's the power cord. All boring stuff, you know. And here is the, the power supply. Yay. Here is something that's really cool, these filters. Hey, you got a ND, I think it's a, what, an ND16, an ND64, and an ND256. Like, so if you're flying to the sun, you can put the uh, ND256 on there. <laughs> and go right there. You won't miss a shot. Then you got a couple bags of props. I think there's six in each bag, I think. That's what it feels like. Yeah, that's what it feels like to me. So, two bags of them. The ever important manual. The quick start guide, which is mostly in Chinese. It's basically pictures. You just follow the pictures. Basically, that's it for that. But the important thing to come, right? And that's this, the quadcopter itself. It's, I'll tell you, this thing, it has the nicest feel to it. It really, to me, hits that sweet spot between the Mavic Pro or the Mavic Pro 2 and what would be the, um, the Mini. 
it really hits that little sweet spot. I really like the feel of this thing. It's not too big. It's not too heavy. Um, it just it just feels right. Here, we'll put the Mavic Pro here so you can see it top down. Then there's the Mavic Air 2. And then there's the Mavic Air. I don't need to put the Mini in here. I could, but you, you get the point. The Mini's a little bit smaller than the Mavic Air uh, 1. And this has the same build as the, the... The plastic is the same feel of the plastic as the Mavic Pro. Not like the Mavic Mini, which had that real cheap feel in plastic. Which, you know, they had to do that to get, that, get it in that weight. You know, they didn't really have an option. But I will tell you about this thing. It does have a hollow nose, so I am suspecting the GPS module is probably in the back. It's very hollow sounding in the, uh, in the nose. Just like the Mavic Mini. You could tell the Mavic Mini that whole nose was completely hollow. So, unless the GPS module's in there, I would suspect it's probably back here. I mean, I'm not sure, but it could be. It's very nice. Very nice. There's the camera. Like getting that thing off is not that easy, actually. You have to... You have to press in right here pretty hard to pop that loose and get that off of there like that. There's the camera there. There's some obstacle avoidance in the front. There's some obstacle avoidance in the rear. Fold the arms out. There's your little port on the side for your card micro SD card slot and on this side is some port I'm not even sure what it is oh that's a uh, where you can hook your USB-C card or uh, cable up to um, do your updates if you want to do your updates uh, via the uh, app on the uh, computer and then on the bottom you have some um, you have a LED light there, like a strobe type light. You can tell it's pretty bright just by looking at it. Then you just have some sensors on the bottom. Um, positioning stuff right there on the bottom. So, yeah, it has a very, very nice feel to the build. Then you have some vents here on the side. So that'll help you out with cooling. Because I already heard that something gets hot in here. It was either this or the transmitter or something. But we'll see, right? There's the front again. Looks great, guys. I mean, this thing just really has that nice feel to it. You know, you know that quality feel. You know when something's good. There it is. All right, boys, there you go. A quick look at the DJI Mavic Air 2. Okay. So the Mavic Air 1 is still good, especially since I got that, uh, that parabolic thing on there. Boy, that really made the range go pretty far without losing any kind of signal at all. So I'm real happy with that thing. So I'm going to be using that. Every time I fly this thing now, I'll be using that. All right, guys. I'll talk to you in a few minutes.
Very stable, boys. Very stable.